All right, guys, this is the follow-up to my last video on this motor, my $160 motor. I took off the S shaft on it, put on a stainless steel shaft. It's a nine millimeter stainless steel shaft with a one inch stainless steel tube. I put on a six and a half inch stainless steel two blade prop, which everybody says will make this go a lot faster and smoother. Let's hope this can fix the torque problems. All right, guys, let's see. Is this Chinese motor going to perform? Watch the video until the end. All right, let's do a quick review and check out a new modification that I did. Whoa, check it out. That's my new modified paddleboard motor. It's a 144F. Says it's a four stroke, four horsepower. It says outpoint, output 2.8 kilowatts. If anybody knows what horsepower that translates to, let me know because this is definitely not a four horsepower. Well, anyways, if you saw my last video, you saw that I had an S-shaped twister mudtail motor on it, and I changed that. I took out that flexible shaft. I bought a stainless steel shaft. This is a 42 inch stainless steel shaft. I took it to a local shop and I had them weld on a propeller protector plate. I bought a stainless steel propeller. Oh, there it is. So it, the original one was a little smaller than a half inch. This one is a half inch by six and a half. So six and a half inch stainless steel two blade propeller. So I was hoping this was going to fix my problem because the mud motor, the twister tail that I had on here had a flexible shaft that wasn't getting power and it was dying. So I decided to modify this and see if I can get some power out of this thing. There it is on the paddle bar, check it out. Let's get a better view. Got my paddler sitting up front in case the motor breaks down. <laughs> and this is my Koetsu, there's the name. It's a Koetsu 4.5 meter inflatable paddle board. 38 inches wide by 14 foot, seven inches long. That's about seven inches thick. Has a weight capacity of over 650 pounds. So this is the perfect thing to put a motor on. It's heavy duty. Could put a lot of people on this board. All right, we're gonna take this out. We'll start it up. Let's see how it does on the paddle board. Let's hope we can get 10, 12 kilometers per hour on it. Let's hope. And we are at the beach today. We're at Marigondon Beach. That's in Marigondon, Lapu Lapu City, Mactan Island, Cebu in the Philippines. This is the place I like to test most of my stuff because the water is calm here. It's a great place to test your water stuff. Anybody who's here, great scuba diving going that way towards Maribago. All right, let's take this motor out and let's test it. Let's see what kind of speed and power we can get from it. So we're trying to take it out for its second run and I kept starting it and starting it and uh, it just wouldn't start whether it's on choke or I gave it gas and everything looks good. You can see it has plenty of gas going into the line. I was pushing the bowl by using choke, no choke, and then I was checking the throttle. This has a throttle that clicks and stays in place. 
then I figured out I better see if the throttle cable is actually working and BAM I don't know if you can see it but there's the throttle cable guide or holder and you see the throttle cable is not in there so that means the throttle cable I better take that off so I don't lose it the throttle cables right there maybe you can see it maybe you can't the throttle cable came off somehow it broke out so that's the end of the test today we were able to get one run on the water so we were able to get one run out of it today tried the second time and the throttle cable broke and I didn't bring all my tools I just have pliers and things that I might need to adjust the trim on this and everything so we're gonna call that a day and I'm gonna call Chinese motors a fail this is a, supposed to be a four horsepower there's no way once you put it in the water even at the, the right trim level, you can't get three quarters power on it. You can only get about uh, probably eight or nine kilometers per hour on max. And if you try to turn or, or uh, throttle up any, it just kills it like there's not enough power to push it. So I'm gonna give it a big no. And you'll see these motors everywhere online, on Amazon, on Lazada, on Shopee. And this is the 144F, four stroke, four horsepower claims. There's no way this thing is four horsepower. We'd be flying like 12 to 15 kilometers per hour at least on a paddleboard that only weighs 17 kilograms. So I'm gonna call this motor a fail. I'm just gonna tear it apart and repurpose it and uh, use it for something else or sell it to somebody who can use it for something else. All right, that's the end of the video guys. Hope you liked it. Stay tuned for when I buy a real motor someday and uh, no more Chinese motors for me. This thing's a P-O-S. Hopefully you guys know what that means without me having to write it out. All right, look at my wife. She's like, no more. Stop trying to start the damn thing. So yes, this motor was cheap. It was only $160 on lazada.com.ph. Was it worth it though? No, in the end, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work how it's supposed to. It can't power you. It can't even push a paddleboard. Like I said, uh, at one fourth of a th one fourth throttle, that's about the fastest we were able to go, and it still felt like it was dying. Any faster than that, this thing doesn't have any torque. I replaced lots of things on it. I put on a stainless steel shaft in the center instead of the flexible shaft. I put on a two blade propeller, like most people recommended in the mud motor forums, and did a lot of stuff, but nothing helped. I think I'll just sell this to somebody who needs a motor. Maybe they can power something else with it and make use of it here in the Philippines. But I think my next step is to get a, like a two-stroke Mercury 3.5. So maybe sometime later down the road, I'll throw that on there. For now, it's fun using my water snake trolling motor and just paddling around or even using my drill paddle. This Chinese gas-powered motor, never again. I'll never buy Chinese motors again off the internet. So don't buy it, guys. If you see it and it's a great deal, it looks like a great deal. It's probably not a great deal. All right, click like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.